can submit your VAT return online through your government gateway account by entering the figures into the correct boxes provided or by using an accounting software. HMRC provide a list of accounting software that allow you to submit your VAT return directly without having to enter all the figures separately into the correct boxes. This saves time and avoids any discrepancies. At John Davis Accountants, we use Xero to submit the majority of our VAT returns. The only exceptions to submitting your VAT return online are if your business is subject to an insolvency procedure, you can't use a computer due to religious reasons or your age or disability, or you simply don't have access to the internet. You can contact HMRC when you register for VAT to get help with submitting your VAT returns through paper filing. When you registered for VAT, you should have set up a government gateway with HMRC. You will need the login details for this, your VAT number and your VAT calculations. If you are registered for quarterly VAT returns, you have up to one month and seven days after the end of the accounting period. For example, if your VAT return runs from the 1st of January 2018 to the 31st of March 2018, you have until the 7th of May to submit your return and pay any liability. You should leave enough time for HMRC to receive the payment in this period. Therefore, we recommend getting your VAT returns in as quickly as possible, especially if you're due a rebate. The deadline if you're on the annual accounting scheme is different. You make advance payments towards your VAT bill throughout the year, either based on your last return or estimated if you're new to VAT. Your VAT period is one year and you have up to two months after the end of the accounting period to submit your return. For example, if your VAT return runs from the 1st of January 2018 to the 31st of December 2018, you have until the 28th of February 2019 to submit your return. When you do submit your return, you will either have overpaid VAT throughout the year or underpaid. Therefore, you will either pay the amount outstanding over to HMRC or reclaim any overpaid VAT. Always remember to note the reference number you receive when you submit your return as proof of your submission. HMRC will record a default on your account if you miss your submission deadline or you fail to make a payment on time and you will enter a surcharge period of 12 months. If you default for a second time within this 12 month period, the surcharge period is extended for a further 12 months and you may have to pay a fine on top of the VAT you owe. The fine is based on a percentage of the VAT outstanding and increases every time you default. Surcharges can be as high as 15% of your annual turnover, therefore don't miss the deadlines. If you deliberately understate or overclaim on your VAT return, HMRC can also charge you a penalty of 100% of your tax. Any errors to your VAT return must be reported to HMRC. If you have paid more VAT than you have reclaimed, then you are due a rebate. You need to provide HMRC with your bank details, even if you have a direct debit set up for VAT returns. You should receive your rebate within 10 working days of HMRC receiving your return. In summary, it is important to make sure you submit your VAT returns on time to avoid any fines. We also encourage using an agent or accountant to submit your return for you to make sure you're reclaiming as much VAT back as you can. You can give them authority via your online account. If you want to know more about VAT, please check out our other videos or get in touch.